Well, many people, including me, got the Amber Alert on their phones early this morning, only to have police cancel it a few hours later. Cap KV's El Emily Goodell got some answers about what happened this morning. Yakima police are searching for 30-year-old Rene Beza after they say he kidnapped his three-month-old son and the boy's 29-year-old mother, who has a no-contact order against Beza from earlier this year when police say he violently assaulted her while she was pregnant. This couple has a, a extensive history of domestic violence. The suspect is well known to us. We've had many incidents with him. A 911 call came in about 9.15 p.m. Tuesday saying a woman and her child were being held against their will in a car traveling down West Knob Hill Boulevard. Police officers recognized the car and followed when the vehicle sped away. And at the time, the sergeant was getting just bits and pieces of information. And so he was under the impression it was just a, uh, a no contact order issue and a parenting issue. The sergeant stopped the pursuit and the suspect took off on the freeway. But at the time, police didn't have all the information. And there was a comment in there added that he had threatened to kill the child and the mother, but the officers never saw it because it was stacked up with all these other call comments. After hours of searching, YPD asked the state to put an Amber Alert out at about 3 a.m. They got the information out on social media, but the alert didn't reach people's phones until about 7.30 in the morning. We were all kind of shocked. It was such a delay, but again, we're at the mercy of the state. We don't, we don't control that, so we can only request it. Police got a call in the morning saying the woman and child were spotted near North 2nd and West Yakima Avenues. And lo and behold, we found her and her and her child were safe. Anyone with information about Bayes' whereabouts should call 911 or contact the Yakima Police Department. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap Cave U, Local News. They are reaching out to the state to figure out why exactly it took so long for that Amber Alert to go out.